My name is Lagum Esther Nora. I'm a student of YY Court Memorial College. Um, today's morning paper was mathematics. Um, it's a good experience to be the pioneers of actually the new curriculum. And this makes us actually tell you that the paper was absolutely okay to me personally. I think it's one of the best papers I've ever done in my life and I know I'm going to make it absolutely as a pioneer of the new curriculum. And then I think even in other schools they may witness that it is actually of an advantage that we are offering the, the new curriculum because we are able to come up with actually critical thinking that helps us to be able to approach scenarios in the way that actually helps us to get good, better answers, that, rather than things that were just spoon-fed. So I think the paper was generally fine to me and I know I'm going to make it. Thank you. My name is Birwanga Alfred, a student of Kitrum High School under Old Curriculum. And we have now from out, after doing our first paper, that is chemistry practical, but the paper was somehow okay. Not that too difficult. My name is again Lord Sharon Bena, a student of the Aninavia Senior School. Um, today and right now we are just from our first paper and that was mathematics. The paper was fair, it was not all that so difficult and it was not that so easy but it was fair. Yeah, so and I think the new curriculum is better for us since the way the examination is brought is brought in a scenario form and in that at least it is uh, like our thinking capacity it widens the thinking capacity of the students so the examination was not all that bad it was fair thank you very much my chaplain tv for taking your time to cover us and find out how the exams is proceeding my name i am eric lakidi i am the head teacher kid from standard school we have started the UNEP exam successfully, as you all know. <coughs> this is the first lot, the pioneers of the new lower secondary school curriculum. They are sitting for the first time, and we are happy that for the first time we have come to the end of cycle one for the learners who pioneered this new curriculum. We have successfully started, the students are in and they are already writing. Uh, UNEP has assigned us enough officials to handle this and unfortunately we have one absentee candidate who did not turn up for this first paper. We have contacted the parent already and I think they had some gaps in communication and we hope in the afternoon he appears and sit for the remaining papers. Uh, I want to appreciate UNEP and the Ministry so much for all the support, both in resources and the technical support on every ground that they have given us, beginning from when they enrolled this curriculum to date. This is a milestone already achieved. As a school, we are grateful, we are hopeful that these students will perform well. We successfully began the UCE exams this morning and we are optimistic that they will continue smoothly. The school has registered 149 candidates for UCE and 49 candidates for UAC exams. Our expectations are very clear, just like any other school. We anticipate outstanding performance from our senior four candidates. Uh, today, this morning, we have started officially the written UCE examination for senior four. And uh, we have both uh, the transitional candidate sitting as we conclude the old curriculum. And also we have uh, the new curriculum for the lower secondary part. 
that the first candidate are sitting for exam in senior four for the first time. This morning we have chemistry uh, for the transitional exams and then we have uh, mathematics paper one that is being done by the candidates all over the country. Uh, yesterday we received exams here at around uh, 8.30 and this has been the earliest time Kidgum uh, Police Station 039 have received exams at the earliest time ever. I've been working because uh, the previous years, if we receive exams early, we would receive exams like at around 11, midnight, and uh, beyond. We are grateful uh, to UNEP for the adjustment I've made that we receive exams early, and we also dispatched it yesterday in time to the substation under station 039. Uh, we are calling upon uh, the candidates to be calm. They should uh, sit these exams with confidence, aware that the exam is done with the intention of carrying out assessment of how much a learner has achieved. The learners have been taught, they have been guided by teachers in the various schools, and so we are very hopeful that uh, this examination, which has started today, the written exams, the candidates will succeed in this exam. I call also upon the head of centers uh, for many schools that when we start exams there are always quite a number of issues that come up around examination, conduction, where some schools stop uh, learners who have registered to sit for the examination. We call upon them to liaise and link up strongly with parents of the candidates uh, to sort out any other differences which is there but allow the candidates to sit for exams under uh, a very conducive environment in their respective uh, institution. First and foremost, I'd like to thank God that he has brought our candidates, senior four, 2024, to this date. Our exams for senior four candidates started uh, on the 11th with the briefing, 11th October, 2024. But the actual ratings are starting today, 14th October 2024, with mathematics. Um, first, I would like to thank the children, the students, and the teachers who have prepared these candidates to reach to date. We have had cases of children either committing suicide or dying before the exams. But in Kitugu, we have not had this case. I'm grateful to God for this. But uh, I also would like to wish my candidates of 2024, senior four, success. I know they have ably prepared to face the exams, which is forthcoming, which has already started today. And I will encourage them. I will continue to wish them good luck and encourage them to continue to concentrate in the process so that they are able to write all their exams successfully. Uh, to the candidates and also to the teachers, uh, Kidgung District has never had cases of malpractices. We know that you have prepared enough. So whatever you are going to write should be what you have prepared for, but not using other methods for, as shortcut so that you're able to make your children pass. Please, I would like to caution the teachers that be out of the way of malpractice where you think you can use a shortcut to make the children pass. If we have not prepared them enough this time, next time we should prepare them enough, but we should desist from cases of ensuring that our candidates in, 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 are brought to malpractices, which can even lead to cancellation of the results. So I will encourage that, please, let's support our learners in the right way so that they are able to write what they have learned and what they have studied for the years that they have been in school. Otherwise, thank you very much. I wish you success once again for God and my country.